Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. Saturday evening, I've uh, been all day at work, working on the can filler project and uh, oh yeah, again I forgot to get any real footage but there is a little snippet that I've shared on Instagram and I'll put at the end of this video so you've got some idea of the progress that we've made with the fabrication of the hardware. So talking of hardware, as you can see in here, this little control box, if you like, that's the microscope there, and the fire extinguisher. Anyway, here we have in this uh, project box, for want of a better word, um, a circuit board. This is uh, the first proper circuit board that I've ever made. I've unfortunately made the error of gluing it down yesterday without filming it showing you guys the back but basically all I've done is we've soldered all of the components through onto the other side and then I've just used bits of copper wire and solder to make my own tracers so it's all connected up you know and uh, and she works she really does work so uh, I made a couple of uh, pins there as you can see also soldered in so we can take the Arduino out, if needs be, to uh, to program it. And uh, I've also kept in there a little start button. But that uh, that's simply for testing. There will be another start button on the front of the uh, of the machine. So I just need to see if I can line these pins back up and get this back in the correct position now I've uh, pulled it out there we go so the Arduino just slots in like that it's got its own power supply coming off we've got a little 12 volt PSU down here and uh, that's running the power via this bus of contactors up here above these MOSFETs uh, then we've got these lights representing the solenoids. So you've got like the beer flow solenoid, the CO2 solenoid. So this one here, the red light means that uh, the fill rail, the whole rail that holds the filling rods would be elevated. So this light will come on when the machine is set and ready because it has to, it has to push those rods up initially. Uh, and then when we press the start button, which will be here, where this cable's coming out of, this will be the main on and off, by the way. This is 240, and the 240 volt power is just going to power that 12 volt PSU in there. That's all it needs, that's the only 240 we're going to have on this piece of kit. So once that's on, that light will come on, and then when the machine's set and ready to start filling, this red light will come on. You'll push a little momentary switch just here, and... Uh, that will set off the process so the uh, fill rail uh, the cam push should I say this will stay elevated the cam push solenoid will move the ramp to push the cans forwards and uh, that will then when, that, when that's turned off and retracted this light will also turn off meaning there's no gas in the rams so the rams will then descend putting the filler tubes into the cans this light will blink on for a brief period of time purging the cans with co2 and then all three of these lights will come on indicating that the three fill solenoids for each individual fill line are active there are some sense cables which are coming out of this side here and at the moment I've just wired them up to that switch so for testing purposes I can turn that switch like that and that will basically pretend you know that the uh, the cans are filled and then these three lights will turn off the can rail the fill rail will start to lift again so this light will come back on and on its way out of the beer we'll have a little quick shot of CO2 in order to agitate the beer and encourage a little bit of foam on the top of the beer after the filling event 
so when we put the can lids on we're canning on top of fold so if I just take this plug and stick it into this receptacle this whole thing should power up so there we go so uh, I do have to get inside here to turn it on initially with this button but I've uh, used the code that allows the whole thing to repeat constantly um, on a loop without having the button pressed again which is uh, something that the guys put into the code if you wanted this to be automatic I'm going down the semi-automatic route at the moment because I want to make sure that there are cans on the on the can push tray before it pushes otherwise we'll end up with double filling a can and spillage so like I said this is pretending to be uh, the fill sensor so we turn that on squirt CO2 and then the cycle starts again look can push CO2 then these three will come on this will turn them off and the blue light will come on on the way up oh that one as well there we go blue light that means it's lifting then that's the cam push starting again so the cam push gets straight in there we'll probably have to put a bit of a timer on that to make sure that the can rail can get out of the way before this starts kicking in more cans otherwise you might end up with a bit of a traffic jam but there we go just thought i'd show you what i've been doing this was done last night friday night uh so yeah I, I had a beer and completely forgot to uh get the camera out for the uh, solenoids we're just going to piggyback off the uh, 12 volt feed for these leds that can go out through a little connector on the side to each solenoid that's required so there's literally only kind of six more wires to put in there and then these three wires here they will just need to go out uh, one of them would be five volts uh, on the sensors and the other one would be on the fill tube which would be grounded that's the way to do it so the fill tube is grounded the sensor has five volts when the liquid makes the connection electrically between the two the Arduino picks it up there is room in the code as well on the Arduino so you can take a resistance reading or a current passing reading you know of the foam and let's say the foam conducts uh, 400 uh, you can set the trigger point to 500 so it needs to be in the beer beforehand um, but yeah the analog read on the Arduino goes from 0 to 1023 and so far depending on what type of beer you're using uh, like a lighter beer has a foam that is less conductive than a darker beer like a stout I found so a stout might want to have a trigger set to about 550 a pilsner may want a trigger point to be set at something around 300 I don't know that's something you'd have to do on the fly per batch but it is just as easy as bringing along uh, your laptop pulling the Arduino out and uh, plugging it into the computer putting the program back on and then slot it back in here it's just like changing a video isn't it on a VCR or a CD or whatever simple input anyway that's it folks I will keep you no longer um, we've been really busy actually on the uh, garden project so I'm surprised how quickly this project has moved as well we're waiting for a little bit more sand to finish the garden off a couple of people have said isn't it a trip hazard people will fall off if this <laughs> fall off the platform in the beer garden there's gonna be a steel railing around it they're not gonna fall off anywhere don't worry I've thought of all these things um, that would be another project as well, the railings. So, uh, you know, whack that subscribe button if you want to make sure that you're, uh, you're around to watch the completion of the can filler project and the completion of the beer garden project, indeed. Two, uh, two projects that I've really got my teeth stuck into at the minute and they're both flying along at quite a uh, concord speed, if you like.
So here's a little clip of the can filler in action, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went big job. <laughs> oh, God.